JOATD. Today we have my 2008 Scion XB. Um, this car has been very good to me. This car has 350,000 miles. I'm gonna let you take a look. There we go. 352,000 miles. Okay. You can see the maintenance required light is on, gas light is on. All right, let's go back out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start by changing the oil. I already got it up on these ramps to uh, change the oil out. All right, guys, so this is everything that's gonna be done to it. We got the both rear uh, rotors. Um, we have the brakes for the rear. Um, we're gonna do an oil change on it. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run some of this liquid Molly um, engine flush in it. it. Says you're supposed to pour it into the engine and run the engine at idle for 10 to 15 minutes, but it depends on the degree of um, contamination in your oil. So you can technically run it as long as you want to. I'm probably gonna run it about 20 minutes. I know that seems like a long time, but I wanna make sure I clean the engine out good. Hopefully this doesn't start the car uh, to leaking because I don't have any oil leaks. I have oil seepage, but not oil leaks. Nothing drips on the ground. So we're gonna use this to clean the engine out. Then we're going to, um, put on the oil filter and I'm gonna put some castor oil um, edge fully synthetic 0w20 motor oil in it I love castor oil this is the only oil I use once I put the oil in I'm gonna substitute with some of this Lucas heavy duty oil stabilizer. I believe in this. Um, a lot of people say they don't like it, but I've put this in a lot of my cars and my cars have 250, 300,000 miles on them and they still run. Um, let's see. This right here is uh, another Liquid Molly um, product, Suratec. Um This right here, is used to it says it prevents metal on metal um, less friction oil consumption protects for 30,000 miles yeah 30,000 miles so this is for like the cars with the real loud um, valves this right here will quiet your car down we're gonna let you hear how loud the engine is before the oil change and then how loud the engine is afterwards when we put this in. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the motor up, let you see how the motor sounds uh, when it first starts up and we're gonna compare that with how it sounds um, once we get everything put in it, all right? guys so that's how the motor sounds um, as of now with no uh, maintenance done to it you can see where it has a couple leaks you know around the uh, valve cover gasket I'm pretty sure it's a couple under the bottom but nothing leaks to the ground it's just seepage you know but it does need to be changed I might do that one day um, but that is it and we're gonna go ahead and put some of this uh, engine flush in I need one let's go ahead and take this off all right so we're gonna put some of the engine flush in put 
pull this in the engine. Put the cap back on. Start the motor up and we're gonna let it run for uh, 20 minutes. It says 10 to 15, but it just depends on how dirty your engine is. So I'm gonna do 20. Just crank it up. All right, guys, so the motor has been running for about 23 minutes. We're going to go ahead and turn it off. All right, now, what you want to do is this motor is hot now. So you want to let the motor cool down for about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes before you um, let the oil out. I've been changing oil for a long time, so... I'm gonna let the oil out with it still being hot. Just put some gloves on so that if it does pour across your hand, you don't get burned, all right? But for you guys that are new to this, please make sure that you let the car cool down first. All right, guys, so to a quick oil change, first thing you wanna do is go ahead and open up the fill cap. I'm gonna open this up first. Ooh, look how clean it is in there. That's crazy. Yeah, this stuff's strong. It was clean down in there, man. It was terrible. Even right there where the cap was, it was dirty. Guess that does work. All right. So, what we're going to do is go ahead and drain the oil. All right, guys, so once you're up under the car, you're going to go to the oil pan, which is right here. Now, that right there is transmission area, okay? That's the driver's side. This right here is the passenger side, okay? You can see right here at the top up here, the oil filter is up there. And that is the drain plug. Now, that plug is a... 14 millimeter yep 14 millimeter socket right here and basically what we're going to do is loosen it and then we're going to let it come out alright so give me a second make sure you got your drain pan under the car too please alright guys so we're going to go ahead and let the oil out Try to angle this the best way possible so the oil doesn't splatter everywhere. It's gonna get some places because it's gonna come out. And remember, I said this stuff is hot right now. So I'm gonna try my best to do this so that I'm not, I don't get burned from how hot the oil is. Let's see. stuff's hot just let it pour out Okay, so I got the oil filter loose. I'm just gonna turn it. I had to use a pair of 
adjustable pliers to get it off. But it did come off. So, here. I'm gonna put that there. Now, what we're gonna do is put the new one on right here. Before you put it on, take a little bit of oil and rub it around the gasket that's on the front of it right here. Put a little oil on the gasket it's right here. Then you're gonna put it back on. And tighten it down. It really only needs to be about hand tight. So tighten it down until your hand can't tighten it no more. Okay, so that's on. And then the next thing you're gonna do is put your 14 millimeter nut back on. I'm just cleaning it off right now. that all right put that back on normally you have a crush washer with this um, unfortunately mine didn't come with one so I'm gonna use the one that's still on the car it's a little washer that goes around this um, nut here. Hold on my hand. Tighten this back on. This is about hand tight too. That's good enough. I'll wipe that off. I'll look up the um, torque uh, spec for the drain plug for you so you know exactly what to click it off to, but it's just hand tight. So. We have the oil um, drain plug in and the new filter in and everything's tightened down and we're gonna go to the top. All right guys, so we're gonna check this oil stick. All right, there's no oil in the car. And we're gonna pour four quarts of oil uh, into the fill hole. All right, let's put your funnel in. I'm gonna have to get a different funnel. All right, so we're gonna put this orange funnel in, put it to the side, and we're going to pour the oil in. Now, this is a five quart um, container. We only need four of them, so I'm gonna pour in as much as I can and then check it a little bit more and check it you know since I don't have the quartz so we're gonna pour this in It's a quart and a half. Now, if you look up here at the top, it tells you quart liters. So, um, go back down here. We're gonna get it down here to that 1.0 quarts. So we got like a half to go. Alright, I know 
of hard to see that, but it is right. If I can shake it a little bit, you can see it a little bit. It's right there at one quart left in the bottle. All right, so we have four quarts in, one quart left in the bottle. All right, next we're gonna put the stabilizer in. Um, this stabilizer you put in, this is one quart. So you put in, let's see, one quart of stabilizer to four quarts of oil. So we got four quarts of oil in the engine and we're gonna put this whole bottle of um, stabilizer in here. It says right here, one quart. So I'm just gonna turn upside down. This stuff is really, really, really thick as you can see. So I'm gonna turn upside down and I'm gonna squeeze it in there. See how thick that is? So I'm gonna put this whole thing in here. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour half this bottle in here. I'm not gonna pour the whole thing because I still want to put the Suratec in. And this full bottle treats five liters of oil. So we only have four liters of oil in it. So that means that we need to only pour about eight fluid ounces in there let's see let's make sure yeah that's right so if it's only four it's only four quarts in here so we only need to pour eight fluid ounces of this bottle into the motor um, and I'm gonna even do half of that because I use some of the stabilizer. I don't want to over full, overfill the motor. So I'm going to do half stabilizer and then half a quart. Well, let's see. Um, four. We're going to do four fluid ounces of this. All right. So four fluid ounces of this. <clears throat> and half a quart of that or you can just do the whole quart of this and not use this or you can just use this and not use that but I'm going to use both of them alright give me a second let me open it that's how it looks I'm going to shake it up real good just in case it's been sitting gonna pour this bad boy in here now it's gonna be hard to tell how much is half the bottle this bottle is only filled up to about right here so we're gonna go to about here maybe it's more of a guesstimate technically all you would have to do is go get you a um, measuring cup and pour out um, four ounces of this if you wanted to do it that way but I'm just gonna pour it in the motor so this stuff is kind of orange looking let's see oops just pour it in there this stuff's kind of orange let's see it's about right there that's probably enough You know what, I'm just going to pour this whole thing in. Well, not the whole thing. I'm going to pour the whole eight. All right. So I poured it all the way about to here. Okay. I know I said I was only going to put four in there, but I put the eight in there. And what we're going to do is put the top on. And we're going to turn the, mo turn the motor over. Alright guys, 
have. So this is the first startup. Um, once I pull the car down off of the um, ramps, I will uh, start the car up again and let you hear the difference in sounding of the motor. Pull this bad boy down. Pull it down. Pull it back. There we go. Alright. Let's turn it off. And then I'm going to let you see how it sounds when it starts up. Alright, guys. This right here is going to be uh, the startup with the liquid molly um Zyrtec and the new oil in it all right that's how the motor sounds now and what I'll do is I'll play, I'll put a recording after this so that you can hear how it sounded in the, you know, how it sounded in the beginning also. All right, so that is all for the oil change. And all I have to do is, um, hold on, let me turn the motor off. All right, guys, so that's all for the oil change. Um, Everything seems to be running good. The motor is a lot quieter. Um, hopefully that will um, protect the motor from all the damage I've done to it. And that's it. Um, I was gonna show you guys how to change the brakes, but I already have a video up on how to change the brakes. So uh, it's the rear brakes. All right guys, it's JOATD and I'm out. Make sure you guys check the um, description area. I have a lot of useful links in there. Um, a lot of tools that I use uh, throughout the video, things like that. Check them out. All right, guys.